What's up guys, this is Halloween Swain. In this video, we are going to talk about how can you make the perfect first layer every single time. So for that, we have created seven steps. If you follow these seven steps, you will always get that perfect first layer no matter what. So before we start the video, please subscribe the button and motivate your boy so that I can make more content like this. So the first step is Z offset. Now at this point, I'm assuming that you guys have correctly labeled your print bed and set the correct nozzle height. You can also use mesh bed leveling if your printer has one. Step two is speed. Now more than 50% first layer problems have been solved by setting up the perfect speed. Now over here, I'm using the Prusa slicer. You can use any slicer. You just have to go into the speed settings and find first layer speed. Now I generally go around 20 meter per second but it highly depends on how difficult is your first layer print. So if you do the perfect speed setup, there is a highly chance that you will lead to that perfect first layer. So if step two doesn't work for you, you can go step three, which is layer height. Now you can either go 120% to 150% to your first layer height, or you can also decrease your first layer height to 80 to 90%. So if step 3 doesn't work for you, we can go step 4 which is temperature setting and cooling fan setting. Now you can bump up 5 to 10 degrees Celsius of your first layer temperature as well as you can also disable the fan for first layer. So if you still have a problem, we have a step 5 which is cleaning and adhesive. Now in general, our hands are oily and a bit sweaty. So when you remove the print from the print bed, that oils might be transferred into the print surface. Now I strongly recommend use isotropic alcohol and clean the print bed every time before you use. On the other hand, you can also use the adhesive glue and that might help to stick your first layer to the bed. Now step six is a scot, bream and raft. So the question is what is scot? Now scot is a layer of material laid down on a print surface around and apart from a 3D print. So in general, I'm using three loops and one scot height. You can always change the distance from the object, depends on your print. Now at the end, it looks like this. Now for brim, it's simply a scot, but the lines generally connect to your print, which is look like this. Now the third is a raft. Now raft generally looks like this. Now, if you don't know what is the difference between brim, scotch and raft, or you don't know how to use it, pretty soon I'm going to cover the entire video about how to use that settings. So we have a step 7, calibration test. Now that step contains a temperature tower, calibration tower, retraction tower and so on. Now if you are the one who is using different companies filament, I highly recommend to do at least once this calibration towers so that you will get the important information about your filament. So after doing all seven steps, if you still have an issue, we can go to the next level. Now we can change the retraction settings. We can also do something like go for the outer layer first and then inner layer and so on. But you have to be a bit careful about retraction settings because if you set the wrong settings, it can lead to destroy your hot end entirely. So before we end this video, please subscribe my channel and motivate me so that I can make more content like this and help our 3D printing community. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other big solutions or you have any other problem, we together will solve it.